Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. I hope you can understand me okay. I decided apparently to get a cold this week. Yeah, like after all the craziness that's been going on, my dad finally came home on Sunday and literally Sunday night the cold hit me and I'm like, really, really? Um, so yeah, I'm still gonna come to you and film videos even though I probably look like a hot mess and sound like a hot mess, so I apologize in advance. Um, I have a very, very little book haul to share with you. Um, I got some books off of thriftbooks.com that I wanted to share with you just in case I get tempted to read them, because I always feel kind of guilty, like, reading a book before I haul it, so I just wanted to show you them. So, the first book I got, I ended up getting at the Dollar Tree. I just kind of, like, was there and decided to look at their books and found this, and it looked interesting. I got Lydia's Party by Margaret Hawkins. I love this cover. It is, like, gorgeous for a dollar. And it's about a woman who, like, has this, like, party the month after Christmas to celebrate Christmas with, like, her five, like, girlfriends. And, um... I guess she has something to share with them this month, um, this, not month, but, like, this time around, and I don't know, I thought it sounded really interesting, but then I got home and I looked it up on Goodreads, and it does not have good reviews at all, so I'm a little nervous, but it's really short, and the font isn't too bad, so I'm still willing to possibly give this a shot. If not, it might just go back to the Dollar Tree. We'll see how I feel. Um, I don't know, I was about to put that back. Um, and then I bought, this was like a crazy random day, I was just like in the car, and this book I had on my thrift books wish list, where like, they automatically tell you when it gets put back in stock, and this book is never in stock, and I knew that I was never gonna pay the full $15 or whatever to get on Amazon, and it was like, good condition, $6 or something like that, but it ended up coming to 7 with shipping and stuff, and I was like, I better just get it. If it doesn't come in good condition, I complain and whatever. I got so lucky. I got, like, a brand new book for, se like, $7. So pretty much, like, half off. So I got No In Between by Lisa Renee Jones. This is the fourth book in the Inside Out series. So now I can read this one. And I had the fifth book just waiting for me. And then now I just have to get the sixth book. But I was so excited when this showed up. And it came in, like, brand new condition. Like, this came better than the good conditions usually come in. So I was so excited that I decided to bite the bullet and take the rest because now I have it. So exciting. And then the other day I posted, I not posted, I bought another set of books from thriftbooks.com. One of my books that I've been wanting kind of showed up on there in a good condition. And I was like, last time I let this go and it went away when I was finally ready to order it. So I placed a little order, um, now they have it where you have to spend $10 to get free shipping, and, um, I had a $5 off coupon if I spent $15, so I think that's what it was, Five, yeah, $5 off coupon if I spent $15, because I'm part of that rewards thing where it's, like, the amount of money you spend, you, um, get, like, once you spend $50, you get $5 or something like that, um, so I got some books off of my wish list. Um, I got Game Words of the Gods by Rochelle Mead. This is one of those books that I've been dying to get since she first released it. This is an adult series by Rochelle Mead. I can't even tell you what it's about, but, um, I forgot what the series is even called. I think it's, like, Project X or something. I don't remember. But it came in really good condition. I'm eventually going to try to take these stickers off. But I'm really excited to get to this one. I know this one's out in the sequel. I don't think the third one is out yet, but... I'm excited to see how Rochelle Mead does in the adult world, so much excitement. Um, then I got, which I was really also excited about, it was kind of expensive, and it wasn't in like the condition I was expecting it to be in, but I was like, uh, not expecting it, but like it was like good condition. I was like, well, I got really lucky with the last one, so I decided to take the risk, and again, it turned out to be a good risk, especially with the $5 off. I basically got one of these books for free. So I finally picked up The Girl in 6E by A.R. Torre or Tor. This one's also like never on there. Um, I'm going to try to get the sticker off as well. Um, this is an adult book as well and this is about like a girl who I think she does like porn from her um, apartment. Like she never leaves her apartment because it says 
um, three rules. Like, my life is simple as long as I follow the rules. One, I don't leave the apartment. Two, never let anyone in. Three, don't kill anyone. I've obeyed these rules for three years, but rules were made to be broken. And I heard this trilogy is amazing, so I cannot wait to get into this one at all. Like, I just want to read it right now. And the real main reason for this order was they had um, Her Mother's Shadow, which is book three in the... Oh, I just said it. Like the, it's not the Keeper of the Light series because that is the first book's title. What is the series called? Oh no. Uh, there's a series that this is a part of, and like and now I can't say it. The Keeper of the Light is the first book. Kiss River is the sequel. But I wanted to be able to marathon these. I think they might actually be, like, companion novels versus actual, like, series. I don't remember. But I wanted to get the third one so that way I could finally marathon it. It came in pretty good condition. It's a little beat up. But now I could at least marathon it and they all match. So I'm really excited. So those are the books that I got this month. I didn't end up having the Christmas party because my dad was still in the hospital. So I didn't get to see if I got any gift cards or anything like that. So I'm not gonna, I'm still like avoiding Amazon for now because I don't know what's happening with that. I mean, there's a good chance where I'm not getting any gift cards, but I'd rather be safer than sorry. So we'll see maybe a haul next month. You never know. I mean, I am going to Disney next month, so maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm about to film a wrap-up video, so stay tuned for that one, and I will see you guys really